Hello and welcome. In this new episode and video about narcissism, we'll discuss how narcissists never tell the truth. A narcissist by nature is a liar. Anything a narcissist talks about is considered true from their perspective only. Before we begin, if you find the video helpful, don't forget to like it and subscribe to the channel. Also, hit the bell icon to receive notifications for all the new videos. Today's episode will cover the top 10 things that terrify and deeply unsettle narcissists, causing them stress and anxiety if you do any of these things. Firstly, neglect is something that terrifies narcissists. It's well known that narcissists love being the center of attention and focus. They want to be everything in someone else's life with everyone revolving around them and praising them all the time. If a narcissist suddenly feels a lack of attention and care, even in a minor way, it can greatly disturb them. The toxic narcissistic personality loves to feel that they are the most important thing in people's lives. They believe everyone around them exists to serve and fulfill their desires continuously. If a narcissist senses a decrease in attention and care, even for a moment, it can be incredibly taxing and affect them deeply. This unhealthy and toxic personality craves to always feel like the most important thing in people's lives. They believe that everyone around them is there to serve them, and any slight decrease in attention can be extremely challenging for them. Narcissists have an exaggerated sense of entitlement, feeling that they deserve everything and should obtain whatever they desire without having to give anything in return. They rarely do anything without expecting something in exchange, and their actions are often motivated by personal gain. In summary, narcissists thrive on attention, and any form of neglect or lack of focus can deeply affect and terrify them. They have a distorted sense of entitlement, expecting to receive everything without giving anything in return. The second thing that terrifies narcissists greatly is if you know one of their secrets. A narcissist lives in a bubble of their own because they are aware that they are liars and that they lie because they engage in wrongful actions. The significant issue for narcissists is that if someone reveals their lie by discovering one of their secrets, they will be exposed as a liar. This can be a major blow to the narcissist, something they find hard to bear. Narcissists are extremely cautious about keeping their personal secrets, never disclosing their intentions or even the simplest details of their lives. Due to the narcissist's nature and their life built on deception and manipulation, they fear the exposure of their lies. Every action of a narcissist is harmful, and they are well aware of it. They are highly protective of their fake image, which they carefully present to the world. If their lies were to be exposed, it would be a nightmare for them. Just the idea of their victim or someone in their surroundings knowing a secret about them brings intense fear and panic to the narcissist. The third thing that narcissists are extremely afraid of, considered the most crucial, is when their victim or someone in their surroundings discovers the truth about them being a narcissist. It's a significant catastrophe for the narcissist if their victim confronts them with the reality that they are aware of the narcissist's psychological disturbance and illness. Narcissists are keen on maintaining the facade of being innocent angels while destroying their victims without them realizing. If people were to discover the destructive reality of the narcissist, they would undoubtedly distance themselves to protect themselves from harm, something that narcissists cannot tolerate. The fear that narcissists cannot endure is when their victim realizes at some point that they are dealing with a narcissist. Of course, this matter severely destroys the narcissist because they never admit, even to themselves, that they have a problem or that they are not normal. It's impossible for them to accept anyone confronting them with this truth. Even if a narcissist were to realize one day that they are psychologically disturbed, they would vehemently reject it and refuse any potential treatment. They categorically deny their faults and accuse those around them of not understanding them, insisting that they are the ones with psychological issues, not themselves. Many people wonder if narcissists deliberately hurt others and are aware that they are causing harm. The answer is yes, narcissists are very conscious of what they are doing because they know their own reality very well. However, they refuse to acknowledge it. Never think to excuse a narcissist or seek forgiveness for them, convincing yourself that they need treatment because, fundamentally, they reject admitting that they need help and persist in their harmful actions. It is not appropriate for us to sympathize with individuals like this. They lack the willingness to change and continue to harm people without mercy. This person is not insane, and we cannot excuse or say that they will not be held accountable for their actions. They suffer from a psychological disorder, and they are very aware of it. This disorder does not diminish their intellect, 
On the contrary, their mind is very much intact and aware. What terrifies the narcissist to a great extent afterward is abandonment. It's a significant issue for them if you leave them. The narcissist is accustomed to being the one who abandons, distances, and separates, not the other way around. However, the idea of the victim deciding to abandon or distance themselves from the narcissist is utterly horrifying. The narcissist believes they have the right to distance themselves whenever they please, on their terms and for the duration they choose. The thought that the victim might consider leaving or distancing themselves is unacceptable to the narcissist. They are used to being the one who decides when to come back and finding the victim waiting for them. The narcissist cannot live alone, everyone. They cannot exist without feeding off someone or absorbing someone's energy. That's why the narcissist is very keen on having multiple victims. It is not acceptable for the narcissist to experience a situation where they lose a victim without having a substitute. This characteristic is deeply ingrained in narcissists, making them engage in multiple relationships. In times of potential loss, the narcissist needs to have someone to compensate for your absence. However, if you were to abandon the narcissist even if they have a substitute, it terrifies them immensely. It frightens them in an extreme way because one of the deeply rooted beliefs in the narcissist is that they do not leave any victim no matter what. They must always come back to them. The narcissist never truly leaves their victim. Even if they temporarily leave, it might be a form of punishment. During their absence, they would find an alternative source to feed on until the time comes when they decide to return to their original victim or choose another one. The narcissist must have multiple sources and additional victims so that in case they lose one, they have a backup. It's important to note that if you leave a narcissist, you might observe that they seem to be living normally and appear unaffected by your absence. This is because they have an alternative source to feed on. However, trust me, the narcissist is internally deeply wounded. They suffer immensely because you, their victim, have left them. The next thing that greatly exhausts and frightens the narcissist is feeling obligated or bearing any responsibility. The commitment we're talking about here is the narcissist being committed in a relationship or living a normal life within a normal relationship. Any relationship the narcissist enters is for a specific goal or personal gain, not because they want a normal relationship such as marriage. For a person, it is expected that they commit to their spouse and home, but with a narcissist, the minimum we can say is that they engage in multiple relationships. How can they commit to their home or spouse when they are, at the very least, known for having multiple relationships? The narcissist does not engage in anything normal. All their actions are abnormal. They prefer to involve themselves in adventures and experiments without considering if it will impact their life or their supposed commitment to their home. The thing that irritates the narcissist the most is when they are expected to have any kind of commitment or live in a disciplined manner. Any attempt to pressurize the narcissist and impose any form of commitment on them is akin to a slow death in their eyes. They cannot tolerate this type of imposition. The thing that follows which destroys the narcissist and exhausts them greatly is if you belittle them in front of someone or diminish their value. Can you imagine how a narcissist views themselves? They consider themselves legendary or something extraordinary. Any form of insult to this personality or undermining its value, no matter how small, is an insult to the very core of their being. It means you are killing them swiftly. For a narcissist, this is extremely challenging, and their reaction to such an act can be severe. Their anger can lead them to act against you or say anything negative, regardless of the consequences, as their sole focus is on punishing and seeking revenge for what they perceive as an attack on them. I am not talking about ordinary disputes in normal relationships. Disagreements and problems occur frequently between any two people or in any normal relationship. There may even be instances of relationships ending. However, with a narcissist, they are malicious and destructive to the highest degree. They will not spare you when they think of revenge or destruction. The narcissist's reactions are extremely intelligent because they plan them thoroughly before executing them. Before engaging in any such behavior with a narcissist, you must anticipate their reactions and be able to confront them to avoid causing further harm. The narcissist never retreats from their mindset, and they never admit they are wrong, no matter what they have done. They will never allow you to expose the mask they hide behind. Confronting a narcissist with their mistakes in front of someone humiliates them profoundly and diminishes their value which terrifies them. Moreover, the narcissist is greatly frightened by the idea of loving or getting attached to someone. 
They expect you to become attached and deeply connected to them so that they can control and dominate you. They consider attachment and connection as weaknesses that they cannot afford to have, as it would put them under the control of someone who loves them. They must not have any form of empathy or attachment to anyone. If a narcissist loves or becomes attached to someone, they won't be able to seek revenge or destroy them. They engage in such behavior because they lack empathy entirely, making it easy for them to harm others without being affected by the victim's emotional breakdowns. The narcissist is also afraid of falling in love or getting attached to someone because they fear that the person they love might leave them. At that moment, they would be at their weakest since they won't be able to bear the separation due to their deep connection. Love is considered a weakness by the narcissist, and they are keen to eliminate any weaknesses to prevent others from exploiting them. The narcissist never trusts anyone, and they always suspect betrayal from those around them. They view others as potential threats seeking to harm or damage them, which is why their behaviors are always defensive and attacking towards anyone they interact with. The idea of the narcissist being in love is extremely challenging and unavailable. If you ever thought that a narcissist loved you, know that it was just a performance. They were manipulating you to fall into their trap so they could control and manipulate you. The next thing, guys, or we can say they are two things, is that the narcissist is very afraid that he is getting old or that he is dying. One of the terrifying things for a narcissist is that he is getting older because this means a feeling of weakness due to aging and the diseases that may affect him due to this aging. His situation is certainly very difficult because of his feeling of weakness and his intense fear of everyone around him, who has been hurting them all his life. He is certainly expected from them that no one will treat him in a way that suits his difficult situation. He is also expected from them to return the abuse that he used to do to them while he is strong. The narcissist keeps asking himself all the time, how will they treat me or talk to him? A great calamity that the narcissist is going through. He is the person in the world who hates him the most and is afraid of being alone. He will be very afraid and terrified that everyone around him might leave him alone and get away from him. The problem is that as he gets older, this fear increases with him and grows bigger every day oh God, I didn't make this video too long for you. I was able to provide you with information. Please don't forget to like the video and subscribe to the channel. Also, don't forget your comments on the video. If there is any note, you can help me with it and I can help the channel with it. I am at your command, of course, and don't be stingy with it. I thank you and we will meet again, God willing, in the next video. Thanks. Peace, mercy and blessings of God.